Yeah, it's really amazing. You know, I've never been like a basketball protege. You know, like I've, I've never um, kind of been at these types of things. And so uh, it's just, it, like I said earlier, I mean, there's a, the saying it takes a village to raise a child. And I think a lot of people have, have, have played a part in the success that I'm experiencing right now. And I've had such great coaching and such great um, teammates and systems that I've been around, cities that I've been in. and. You know, I just, it's, it's a, I, I don't know, I, I pre, it just, it was just doing the daily work every day, you know, and like, I, like I never had, all-star game was never a goal of mine, you know, I just wanted to keep on getting better as a player, and I just really love playing basketball, and, and uh, you, know, you surround yourself with good people, and you work really hard, and, you know, crazy things happen sometimes. Do you think the perspective that you have at this stage of your career makes it even more meaningful, or do you think, I mean, if you'd made it early in your career, do you think it would have been a similar experience, or? Yeah, I mean, you definitely, I mean, it's easy to take things for granted when they happen early and easy in life, you know, and this has not been that way for me. And so, um, yeah, like I said, I just found this out like two days ago. This is all really fresh and really new, and I haven't really had a time to digest everything, but it's an incredible honor, and, and I'm just really uh, grateful to be here. The one thing we keep hearing about you is that you're getting better and your career progresses, which is a unique thing in the NBA. Well, how do you respond to that? Yeah, um, well, I, I, my body's getting healthier somehow, and I think it's a lot of it's just like the training that I do in the offseason and how I've learned to take care of it and understand my body, first of all, and then try to take care of it. And, I mean, if, if you get older, if you're, I mean, people, you know, decline because their body breaks down, right? Like, if your body doesn't break down, you should just be better. You should be a better shooter because you've shot more shots. You should be a better player because you've been in more experiences. Like, people will decline because their bodies break down, but... For a bunch of reasons, you know, like I actually feel the best I've felt probably in my whole career. And um, and then plus you get to add experience and, like I said, great coaching and, and great teammates and a lot of things have kind of come together for me in Atlanta. Kyle, I probably uh, you answer this already, but do you, do you practice for the three-point or you just go out there and... and yeah, um, I, I, I did a, a couple rounds, um, like two weeks. We've been on the road for like a week for Hawks app, so I haven't been able to. But I, I tried a couple times just because it's not, it's not a natural shooting thing. You, you have go back and pick up the ball and you can't really watch the ball go in the hoop and so I think the guys who do well who have done well in the past have practice I think practicing is you know if you do that you have an advantage because I think a lot of people don't um, but yeah so I mean it's just whoever wins just the, one, the guy who gets hot is the guy who's going to win a lot of you guys in the competition are like catch and shoot guys you do a lot of your work off the ball is that something you, you pick up and learn because you have to in the NBA or is it something that you've always kind of yeah, that's just how, kind of always been how I played. You know, I've never been a big dribbler. <laughs> you know, um, so it's like, how do you score in the NBA when you're not dribbling? And you got to learn how to play without the ball because if you're making your shots, people don't just leave you. And so it's just, you know, it's been a lot of years of just, you know, trying to get better at it and um, being in good systems where you get good screens, playing with good screeners. You know, trying to sh help 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 them be better screeners. <laughs> you know, uh, so yeah, it's just been something that's. A combination, but that's something I've always tried to do. Um, I mean, I, I did want to do it again. Um, I felt like this was a great place to come to New York, and you know, it would be a great opportunity. Um, so, yeah, it's, you know, the NBA can come here, and you can, you can you, the NBA doesn't take over New York City. Like, it, it's a part of it, you know, but New York is so big, and it's like you can come here and still get a little break, and obviously enjoy all the festivities, and um, so, a lot of reasons. It feels always good, but this year it's like on the top. Yeah, totally. Uh, is this the first year there's been eight? Has there always so, been yeah. eight? Yeah. There's like eight people who could all win. Yeah. You know, um, I mean, a bunch of really good guys, uh, you know, guys who can really get hot. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think whoever wins this can, can probably feel pretty good about it.